Get 10% off all VV, Ecomi, and Omi merch at CavelAnderson.com using the code CHRISTMAS10. Our primary line will always be available while our limited edition section will only ever have 100 items total and will never be sold again. Get it while supplies last. Yo, what is going on, y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson, and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video, man. And before we jump into this one, I just want to start out by giving a big shout out to the Hotel, um fandom. And I want to give a big shout out to you all. I want to start by saying thank you so much for the support that you all show me and the fact that you all show other creators love as well. And you you give their content a chance and you help them grow in the community because you all just just destroyed his subscriptions and you got him to a thousand subscribers very, very quickly. And I definitely appreciate you all for actually giving creators a chance. And, and if you enjoy their content, actually taking the time to subscribe because every creator brings something different and unique to the community and the amount of work and work in detail that he puts into his videos is amazing. So yeah, shout out to him. That being said, a lot of people have been missing me and my, my thoughts on some of the other creators in the community. So we're going to be going over yet another newer YouTuber, well, not not a newer, like, um, but but a newer, like another, not another, but this is a newer YouTuber, okay? Like, <laughs> so yeah, we're going over this one. This is going to be his um his Disney um Mickey Mouse price predictions, I guess, and then his his predictions on blue chips. So yeah, we're gonna be checking him out. Um, I I've actually um not given my opinion on the Mickey Mouse drop um publicly yet. I've given it in the private group, of course, because that, that's the type of information that people are using to profit in the private group. So I, I like to give that information there. But um, yeah, I'm going to be sharing some of my thoughts and stuff as well, because this is a big deal. So let's jump into it, hear what he has to say. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications so you stay updated, and also subscribe to his channel if you if you do enjoy the content that we see here. But yeah, let's jump into it. Um, I love seeing the community grow. I am going to get back. I've been hearing all the um, I've been hearing all the concerns and stuff, and people wanted me to just get back to spreading the love around the community, helping the community grow, and yeah, just doing my thing, making my own content, sharing my thoughts and stuff like that. So yeah, we're we're back. Like we're officially back, man. We're gonna be back going hard. And yeah, let, let's let's get some let's get some positive energy flowing throughout this community, man. Let's get it. Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're gonna be talking about. Disney and Vivi's new drop that's gonna be happening Wednesday. Uh, I like the way that sound, Disney and Vivi's new drop. I love hearing stuff like that together. The, those words together, it's beautiful. This week, this release will be in a blind box format and it'll be a super iconic uh, Mickey Mouse uh, collectible. Um, this collectible is Steamboat Willie. Now, for those of you that don't know, uh, Steamboat Willie is considered the first debut of Mickey Mouse. And now this uh, short cartoon that's seven minutes and 30 uh, seconds long was created by Walt Disney. Now, this collectible is super iconic because it's one of the first cartoons that was uh, sound syn synchronized. So the sound went along with the pictures. I actually didn't know this information, um, <clears throat> but um, just just to give you all a quick rundown of some of my thoughts on this drop, um, I do think this drop is going to be insanely valuable. One thing that I did hear Alex say, he said something along the lines of this, like the last Disney drop wasn't the first Disney drop, but it was at the same time. So um, basically what that meant is that it, what I took from that is that yeah, this was a legit first Disney drop, but in terms of just like an official Disney Disney collection, a Disney collection drop, the first ever. This is probably more along the lines of this is the first Disney drop. So it's it's like it's very, you know, it, it's kind of hard to to really say that, but but it's like it's this is the first, this is the first Mickey Mouse. This is the first Mickey Mouse collection as far as the NFT collection goes, just purely Mickey Mouse. So um, this is big. This is this is actually pretty huge. I think that this is going to be a very valuable one. Um. In terms of the comparisons to to how is this gonna um go up against the the, the Disney um moments drop, I mean that's yet to be determined. I do go into a little bit more detail on that and and on other social medias and things like that in the private group and all that. But yeah, I'm not gonna get too heavily into my my deep thoughts on that. But I think that this is going this is going to go well. I think that this is going to be a pretty valuable um pretty valuable um set here and collectibles here. 
So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to this drop. I'm definitely participating. Of course, this is Disney. This is Mickey Mouse. It's legendary. So um, I'm excited for it. Um, but yeah. Now, um, besides that, um, it is the first, consider the first time that Mickey Mouse and Minnie, his girlfriend, both uh, appeared in cartoon format. Now, these two characters uh, appeared uh, several months before the drop of Steamboat Willie, but this is the first time that uh, they appeared together. Now so the, <clears throat> he does his due diligence and he does his research. Um, this is a lot of information that I didn't even take the time to research. Like when I research, when I make my predictions and stuff like that, the history, uh, even though I should probably look into the history, but this is why I'm not too heavily into the NFTs. I'm good enough to flip. I'm good enough to make a lot of money using NFTs, but I don't really, I could maximize my income if I did different things, but it's just like flipping is a hobby for me, even though I'm good at it. Um, but yeah, this type of information, I, I usually just look at numbers. So the fact that he's this detailed, he understands things like this and he under, he took the time to find out all this information about why this is going to be such a valuable and impactful thing outside of it just being like pretty much the first um disney nft um drop like like just disney drop i, I think that uh, this is dope this is dope i like i like his research now walt disney did uh create two other short cartoons that featured uh mickey mouse but those two short cartoons did not get picked up by a uh, studio and Steamboat Willie was the first uh, Mickey Mouse cartoon that was picked up by a studio. Now this drop is not considered a first appearance because the first appearance of Mickey Mouse on the VV app was with the founder statue uh, that featured Walt Disney and uh, Mickey Mouse during the Disney Golden Moments drop. Like that, that's kind of confusing to me. Um, the first appearance thing, I would assume that it would be a first appearance because unless, I, I think that it's different types of Mickey Mouse. It's just like we have two different first appearance Spider-Mans and, and, you know, like, <clears throat> so it doesn't kind of, it, it's kind of confusing how they do the first appearances because I don't know if that Walt and Disney, if that, or that Walt and Mickey, I don't know if that Mickey is actually Steamboat Willie. So that's two different um, Mickeys, to be fair. So... Yeah, it's kind of weird how they do that. So if this is not going to be a first appearance, that's, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Now, let's talk about price speculation. So VV has not posted a Medium article uh, with the details of this drop uh, happening on Wednesday. So we can do a little bit of speculation uh, consider, considering what we've seen with the last Mickey Mouse drop. Um, now, I do believe this uh, drop will not be nearly as uh, expensive in terms of worth or value as the founder statue, um, but it will have. I don't know. See, that's a tough one for me because even though it's, it's, it looks like it's not going to be a first appearance, at the same time, this is the first appearance of Mickey Mouse by himself. And this is Steamboat Willie. Like this is the first appearance, I believe, of Steamboat Willie. Um, that that form of Mickey. So this could be argued. Like I, what I'm thinking is this could be argued as a Todd and Rizzo situation type of thing. Where yeah, Todd's the first, but Rizzo is still a hitter out here. So you know, and then Rizzo is actually more valuable than Todd. If if I'm if I'm corrected, I haven't really looked at those in a minute, but. Yeah, um, <clears throat> so I think that we could see a Todd Rizzo type of effect here where, uh, mm, you know, you see, you get what I'm saying? You get the comparison, hopefully. A lot of value. Um, I believe this drop will have more value than the Coca-Cola Snow Globe uh, that just dropped uh, today uh, on Monday. And uh, the reason why I... Well, yeah, that's already another Coca-Cola thing out there. So this is like, <clears throat> there's already another Coca-Cola... Um, coca-cola nft out there so you can't really flex the first ever coca-cola nft so yeah um but i mean <clears throat> if disney becomes super i mean if vv becomes more popular as we know it will and vv's reputation gets up there the fact that it's the first vv coca-cola like that's the thing the first time something appears on vv could be a thing if vv gets to the point where vv is super important and relevant i think so is because 
um, the historical implication of this drop of Steamboat Willie, given the history behind it, and also uh, giving just the support and the huge fan base that uh, the character of Mickey Mouse uh, has behind it. So my rough price estimate uh, for what uh, this collectible will be worth once it drops, I will say um, I do not know uh, if there's going to be five or less uh, within the blind box, but if I have to take a guess for the common, I'm saying a minimum of $500 or 500 gems. Uh, this is probably going to go for. Now, how much will the blind box cost? Um, I'll say it's going to be worth more than the cost of the blind box is going to be more than the Deadpool drop. So I'm saying roughly probably 90 gems or on the cheaper side, 60 gems. Um, I do not see... I'm pretty sure it's less than that. I actually just looked at the details. I'm pretty sure they released the article. Yeah, because it's only going to be two in this drop, I believe. Um, I saw something about anim animation, an animated one or something like that too. So I skimmed over the article. But um, I mean, I like I like his train of thought. I definitely like his train of thought, the comparisons to some of the other collectibles. Um, definitely definitely a good thought process here. Um, I can see where he's going with it. Um, this this is good. I mean, it, it's a great. It's definitely a great start to enter in the community and and sharing some of your observations. I mean, I like it. This going above ninety gems, but if it does, I'll be uh, uh, corrected. So within the blind a blind box, uh, considering the different uh, rarities, uh, some characters will be worth more um, than others, but. Uh, this specific uh, drop, Steamboat Willie, I would say just go for it. Um, any collectible that you do end up getting, if you're lucky enough within this drop, is going to be very valuable within the secondary market. <clears throat> yeah, so this is actually listed for sixty dollars. I just looked it up. I had to pull up. I had to pull it up real, real quick. We got a common coming, and then we have the uncommon, and it's going to be the ultra rare. Ultra rare is going to be animated. It looks like. 6,000 editions of the animated, 13,000 uncommons, and 18,000 um, commons. So this is not going to be a Todd and Rizzo situation. Um, simply because, yes, this is this is a, a revolutionary drop. This is amazing. The first time we're seeing Steamboat Willie. But Steamboat Willie is not as popular as some of the other things that we have going on. Yes, it's iconic. But it's Mickey Mouse that's iconic. It's not really Mickey Mouse's storyline. It's just like Mickey Mouse, the character in general is what's popular. And we already do have a Mickey Mouse. And then these edition sizes are massive. So with, with massive edition sizes like this, um, <clears throat> I think that this is actually going to be substantially less valuable, um, especially when you're talking about commons and stuff like that. Um, it's going to be substantially less valuable now that I'm looking at these numbers. Um, the, the ultra rares and the fact that the ultra rare appears to be animated, the ultra rare could be, that, that could be a hit that like, that could be, that, that could definitely go for a lot more than some secret rares. But as far as the other two rarities, I don't know. I don't know, but this is just some of my initial thoughts on it. Like I said, I don't dive in, but the, just based on these, these addition sizes is yeah. Like I said before, this drop has a lot of historical implications behind it. So this is gonna be worth a lot more than any of the other uh, drops that we have seen during this uh, 12 days of VV. Mm, I don't think that this is gonna be worth more than Deadpool. Um, but I mean, listen, I, I can't, I can't put y'all on too much game. I can't like, yeah, I'm gonna I'm chill, let me. Um, um, as far as characters goes, um, I'm betting that we will see many uh, within this uh, blind box. And if we do end up seeing many. If, if we get a mini secret rare, that would be insane because they have the ultra rare listed. They have the, um, you know, they have the ultra rare, they have the uncommon and they have the common. If we see like a mini secret rare or rare or something like that would be, that would be lit. That will be a FA, that will be a first appearance. 
and that will hold a lot of value. Um, not as much as the founder statue, but I do let, see uh, a first appearance mini uh, being up there around the same price as the R2-D2 of the Disney Golden Moments uh, drop. That's pretty much all. Mini being up there with R2-D2. Mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <clears throat> I mean, Mini is cool. Mini is legendary. But Minnie's not even Elsa. Yeah, I mean, we got to keep it 100. I know all the old school people might jump on me for this for this statement, but mm -mm, Minnie's not even up there with Elsa. So, yeah, and I think that, yeah, I, I don't I don't know. But, but to be fair, Star Wars is barely up there with Elsa. I mean, Star Wars, as far as its impact on a certain generation, potentially it's up there with Elsa. But as far as numbers-wise, Star Wars isn't up there with Elsa. So, um... Yeah, I don't think Mini is that. Like, I, I would put Mini more so. If I had to place Mini somewhere, I would definitely place Mini. I mean, I, it would have to be around some other Disney characters. I would have, we would have to see where some other Disney stuff gets priced and then decide from there because I would think that Mini could be potentially over some things that we could see, but under certain things like Timon and Pumbaa. I would put those two over a Mini. So. Where would those price points be like? I have for today. Yeah. Um, if there's anything I missed, be sure to tell me in the comment section. And I hope you guys get this drop. Thank you. Yo, okay, that 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 outro was just scary, bro. But um, but yeah, um, th this this was actually a really good video. I like the video. I like the thought process. I enjoy seeing content that's well thought out and and have a lot of logical reasoning behind the things that that you say. So. Yeah, I mean, great content, man. Definitely keep it up. Um, if you all enjoyed this video, be sure to check out his channel. It, like I said, I, I love the content. There's a lot of potential here on the channel. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe, turn on notifications if you are um, new. And yeah, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out, y'all.